where for a long time of years we are inspecting overhead lines using helicopters because from the air you can see more than from the ground only looking upwards to the, to the overhead lines so we use helicopters for a lot of uh, years and uh, in the 1990s we first uh, get in contact with the issue of protection of birds and then we uh, did some research work what could we do uh, and then one of the ideas was to use helicopters for this work too. Yeah, actually um, there are 12,000 poles uh, and um, uh, 12,000 12, markers and 1,000 poles uh, uh, used by this method, so it's a lot of work done. Uh, when we came to here, we just did a calculation. How many days the people w would have worked on that? I think it's more than uh, one man year which we worked on that issue. So it's a quite big job the people did. And, uh, you, need, you need a team where the pilot and the fitter are very, very good uh, working as a team, very well trained, have some experience to do this. So one reason is because uh, there is a very strong le legislation and uh, we have to work very secure on one hand but to, to do all the jobs which are necessary for protecting nature. So it's a very obvious reason. But an another one is that we want to do our job very good. So we, uh, we at RWE want to do a job absolutely perfect. So for that reason we try to combine it. But and the third, time to, third issue is we want to do it as cost-effective as possible and we can do it more cost-effective uh, by helicopter than from the ground. So yeah, I think next steps could be to do, uh, to do more on both issues. On the one hand against collision, on the other one where the colleagues from, from Germany showed what the legislation is, what the rules are, to do our job very precise there too, um, to, to protect the bonds uh, um, against electrocution. Um, and uh, as I said before, it would be great to sell some products in that area so we can combine protection of nature and making good business.